wake up. Venom, what have I told you about doing Scottish stereotypes? You'll piss them off. Mom, I'm trying to do my video. Leave me alone. Scotland, land of vibrant culture, glorious highlands, breathtaking locks, and. Why does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a sh? What do you mean? Well, I was fing one of yes. Disgusting! It's the one you've all been waiting for. An English bloke reviewing a Scottish lager. He's a traitor! Dear Nicola, I can't seem to find Scotland on a world map. Only the United Kingdom. Hmm. Typical of Scotland. It's always pissing it down. Let's get this coat off. <sighs> okay. So, the first country hit in the series so far that isn't actually a country. Whoa, before I get a caber tossed through my window. That's because Scotland, much like England, Wales and Northern Ireland, is not a sovereign state in its own right, rather a constituent ceremonial country that makes up part of the United Kingdom, which is most definitely a sovereign state and the definition of a true country. Obviously, if the Scottish National Party eventually get their way, then Scotland would indeed become a proper country. But they'll never take our freedom! <laughs> This beer was actually gifted to me by a Scotsman living in England. He's an inside man. Who has recommended tenants as a nice wee drink. Can we get thought of that? That wasn't a direct quote, by the way, just an example of the sort of thing he probably said. I'm, however, still disappointed that I didn't get a Tunnock's tea cake and a can of iron brew to complete the collection. Talk about half a job. You can pick up tenants at B&M if you live in the UK outside of Scotland, which is where this particular can was purchased. Thanks to James and Millie for kindly parting with the last of their four pack for the benefits of my challenge. I am humbly grateful. Now for some facts. Tenants is Scotland's leading pale lager brand and has been since 1885 when production began at their Glasgow Well Park Brewery. The company's roots, however, go much deeper. In fact, all the way back to 1740, where brothers Hugh and Robert Tennant set up a firm in their family name, mainly producing stout and export ales. Their flagship lager was finally introduced following company takeover by the family's fourth generation, Robert's great-grandson, Hugh. Today, however, Tennant is owned by CNC Group PLC, a cross-Atlantic drinks distributor. Tenants are, of course, most famous for their 4% pale lager. But other products produced by the brand include Tennant's 1885, a 5% golden blonde, Tennant's Stout, a 4.7% toasted malt, and Tennant's Extra, a super strong 9% alternative to the classic. Confession time. I've never actually heard Tennant's before. So this should be an experience. Let's crack it open. Straight out of the can like they do it in Bonnie, Scotland. What can I say?
All right. All right. It's shit. But it's not undrinkable. Is that good enough? Hang on a minute. You're a f***ing dancer! It's f***ing nectar of the gorge, you wee b***! F***ing! F***! F***! When production began at their Glasgow Well Park Brewery Brewery? Brewery? Brewery?